In an interview with Euronews, the Iranian Foreign Minister Ali Akbar Salehi makes a link between protests in Iran and manipulation from the outside world. Salehi reacts to foreign concerns over Iranian ships off the coast of Syria and Iran's nuclear program. The government's hard stance against the opposition is clear at a time of revolution in some Arabic countries. How do you read events in the Arab world, in Egypt, Tunisia, Libya, where there have been a wave of revolutions and protests? Well, uh, we think these are authentic moves from the side of the people that they are tired of tyranny, despotism, of uh, arrogance uh, on the part of the governments. So people are trying to regain their, uh, their honor and their uh, actual position and real position. The Iranian president, Ahmadinejad, condemns the oppression in Libya. Is that your official position? Yes, we condemn the use of any force against authentic moves uh, of, the, of, 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 uh, of people of any country, uh, of the nation of any country. So I think uh, the force that was used uh, in Libya against their own people was absolutely unjustified. There are reports that say Iran is using oppression against protesters and against the opposition. Well, there is a, a tremendous difference, uh, a, 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 a basic difference between the two. You know, they have, you may have manipulated protests from some people on the street. M men, Who's uh, manipulating uh, who? I think the Europeans, probably the Western governments, uh, they are raising this uh, comparison, which absolutely there is no ground for comparison. Because, for example, if you want to speak about protests and demonstration, a few months back you had demonstration in France. You have demonstrations all over the world. But there's no relation between what happened in France and what's happening in the Arab world or in Tehran. Are you saying there's a conspiracy theory coming from Europe? No, what I'm saying is that the few protests that we saw in Tehran and uh, in Iran, this is a manipulated one. But in Iran, they're arresting opposition leaders. No, uh, we have not done so. The people are uh, those uh, two gentlemen that you refer to. They are in their homes. They are uh, living their own uh, ordinary life. Some reports say that they're under arrest and unable to move about freely in Tehran. No. You see, this, uh, this is what I heard today from, from news. We don't have such a thing. No, no, if uh, their in, houses are under surveillance in Tehran. No, they are in their homes. They are in their homes. And I said, you see, every country enjoys its own rules and regulations. No. There is rule of law. Even in any country that, for example, in many, even in European country, if anybody goes against the rule of law, against the rule of law. Nobody can take the rule of law into his hand. Reports concerning Mehdi Karoubi and Hussein Mousavi say that they've been taken to an unknown location. This is what I told you. I have no information about that. To the best of what I know, they are at their homes, but there is the possibility because they always moved from one place to another place. They were free to visit their families, relatives, and whatever. They may have moved in their own decision. Nobody knows where they are. Their families don't know where they are. As I said, in Tehran, we have only manipulated protests of few people. Journalists and reporters can't work easily in Tehran or other Iranian cities. No, I, uh, I don't agree with this. There may be some cases that some people on the street have taken the law in the, into their hands and have created some limitations, but this is not the policy of the country. The uh, media is free. I mean, we have the freest media in the Middle East. Uh, but, but, for example, cutting Twitter, Facebook and the Internet and stopping communication between families in Tehran. What does all this mean? OK, you see, sometimes when you have protests, even mm -hmm. in the West, when you want to control a protest, what do you do? Okay. If it was in England few few months back when the students uh, 
had some demonstrations in England. Did the security force in England and the police, uh, they, uh, they hosted the students with okay. cakes and, 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 uh, and uh, food or something? I mean, they, uh, and the police has the, 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 the responsibility of controlling a protest which is beyond the rules of law. There are concerns in Israel, and the Israeli Prime Minister said that Iranian warships off the coast of Syria is an act of provocation. This, I would say, it's about Iranophobia. I mean, uh, the Israelis, the Zionist regime officials have always made such comments. And, uh, but uh, the countries in the region know very well about the intentions of Iran. We have always been a very good friend and trustworthy friend for the governments in the region. This is a training, uh, uh, it was a training mission. But, for example, the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, said that it's a dangerous matter. Well, this, this, is, his own, uh, this is his own impression. I mean, uh, they always make such wrong uh, statements uh, which has nothing to do with the reality. Does this mean that there's something hidden behind that operation? No, there is nothing secret about this mission. Uh, as we have stated, and I have said it uh, over and over, that this was uh, only for the purpose of training. There are fears that the ships may carry weapons from Iran to Syria. No, we have, in, uh, we have said it very explicitly that this, uh, the ships did not carry uh, any military weapons. What do you say about accusations that Iran is trying to develop nuclear weapons? No, we absolutely refute that. Our uh, supreme leader, who enjoys a religious position, has decreed. It's a decree which is both a religious decree and a governmental decree that holding of nuclear weapons, production of nuclear weapons, use of nuclear weapons is uh, against the principle of our religion. Israel is saying that you're only one year away from producing your first atomic bomb. Well, they have been saying this, one they says about a year, one says about two years, one says about three years. These are different speculations and inter interpretations which uh, they make these statements in order to make other countries uh, in the region sort of frightened from Iran which we refute, which we have stated. See, had we had the intention of making an atomic bomb, of manufacturing an atomic bomb, we wouldn't have shied away from it. Why should we shy away from it? And while we have kept ourselves as a faithful member of the MPT, we believe in the integrity of the MPT, and uh, we insist on the fact that the production of atomic bombs is against the tenets of Islam. Why is Iran not cooperating with the International Atomic Energy Agency? This is what I'm saying. We, are, we have very good cooperation with the agency, and the agency has explicitly stated this in their report, this last report which was out a few days back. We have, uh, we have inspectors in my country, 24 hours, cameras working. We have resident inspectors in my country. We opened up all our and uh, um, nuclear installations to outside visitors from all, all over the world. It's not the case in Natanz, for example. Excuse me? Natanz, Natanz doesn't have cameras. Can you please come? If you come and visit like camera, come, yes. yes. <laughs> if you saw the camera, please reflect it in the Euronews.